years old. I live in the Nomad area of New York City, and I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. Outside of running, I work in marketing analytics uh, at a startup. I love it. Uh, I, I definitely work a lot with numbers all day long from running to my job, so I, I try to make sure I don't get too caught up in the overanalyzing of things. Uh, so I got into running really in high school, uh, and that's where I found kind of the team aspect of it, the training, um, and really a phenomenal high school program that got me into the sport. So to train for races, generally you want to break up a year into different segments. So when you're marathon training, it's really hard on your body and involves a lot of physical and mental stress. So that's why most runners generally don't run more than one to two marathons a year. You generally think of it as a 12 to six week build where you'll build into higher mileage, then put in some solid workouts, especially in your long runs, and then taper down. So I've been trying to think about uh, how I make sure all the miles that I run have a purpose and that I am building both the physical fitness as well as the mental confidence, um, but not overdoing it. It's really tricky in that once you accomplish uh, a goal that you've been working for to kind of get a little greedy and caught up in it. And I think that's when you can get into a cycle of pushing yourself too far and injuring yourself. So all to say this, this Olympic trials build, I'm trying to make sure that I'm deliberate with my training and mostly just kind of loving it, enjoying it, being so grateful to have this opportunity and, and soaking it in. I never in a million years thought that I would qualify for the Olympic trials. And I say that, I, I think, you know, a lot of people hear that and they're like, oh yeah, but she was probably thinking about it in the back of her head. I, it was not even on my radar until a year ago. I actually, I um, was lucky enough to watch the trials in 2016 in LA. I was running a marathon the next day where I ran 33 minutes slower than what you needed to qualify to put in perspective how not on my radar it was. Um, and I just remember watching these women and thinking how, how amazing it would be to be out there, but not that it would ever be me. Um, and when I did qualify, the feeling is, is hard to put into words. It's a moment of immense gratitude and accomplishment for yourself but also all the people who have got you there so I really just think the running community in general is it's so cliche but a great kind of representation of what it means to kind of dream and, and work together and I'd say when I cross the finish line that's that's really what was so special to me um, it's just kind of like not just like I made it but like we all made it and and accomplish it together Tips to give to runners looking to make it to the Olympic trials. So find what it is you love about the sport and immerse yourself in that. Don't ramp up too quickly, because you will get injured. Um, but also don't be scared. Don't be scared to work hard. Don't be scared to go after it. Don't be scared to fail. Uh, it builds on itself and, and you can get there.